Hi, I'm Krista Smith. Welcome to the Toronto International Film Festival. Well, thanks <clears throat> for joining me. This is a very important film, speaking of British, because it's based on a true story. This guy's life, Eric Lomax, who was a British soldier held in captivity in Japan, uh, tortured, and remarkably so, lived to be 92. You play him yes. young, yeah. right, yeah. as a soldier. Yeah. Yeah. What made you want to take on this character? Well, I'd actually read uh, Eric's biography, he wrote the book titled The Railway Man. Here is a man whose life's, his life, yeah, his life really is extraordinary. And, uh, you know, I was, I was certainly very nervous meeting him because, you know, he's someone who has kind of been through something that, you know, I can barely relate to. Um, and this kind of meant that telling a story was, um, you know, there was a lot of pressure on us to do this right, because if we hadn't, it could have so easily have been almost insulting to, to mm -hmm. these people and, you know, dealing with real people. So, um, yeah, there was a lot, of, uh, a lot of pressure to do it the right way. Also, because this isn't a story that's told very often, mm -hmm. it's a very difficult one to tell. And because it hasn't been told for all sorts of reasons, it was not considered a glorious moment from the point of view of the British Empire. The Japanese don't uh, talk about it very much for, for their reasons, mm -hmm. and you know, it, it's sort of been left unspoken, and so given our own inadequacy to understand it, uh, it, did, it did feel like a great responsibility because there's an awful lot of people who did want this story out there in some way or other, and mm -hmm. so few ways in which to really tell it effectively. There's a sequence where we show Eric being waterboarded, and you know, that's just as topical today. Yeah, there's a lot of topical relevance to that as well as it being a historical movie. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Nicole, for you, you're the wife who's actually still alive, right? Mm -hmm. Did you ever meet her? Mm -hmm. you, and how was that? It's difficult when you meet someone who's alive that you're mm -hmm. playing and you want to honor their, their life story and you sort of, it's awkward, but at the same time she was so warm and forthcoming. She's here now, seeing the oh, film. Oh, she is? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so yeah. great. It's such a special story because you never think it would end that way. With him coming to that point in his life where he can embrace his captor. Well, yeah, especially considering yeah. he was out there to go and kill him. Um, yeah. Right up to the point yeah. where he met him. You know, yeah. and it's funny. We were me and Colin had uh, had lunch with Eric, and uh, didn't you say something like, mm -hmm. "Eric, well, you know, we were you really going to kill this man?" He just goes, "Oh yes, yeah. oh yeah." You know, he was eating his ice cream at the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, so, so, <laughs> did people around you know that you planned, that you in, intended, you were thinking you were going to kill him? <laughs> and yeah. um, said, oh, yeah. And he knew how he was going to yeah. do it. He'd been through it a thousand times in his mind, and he wasn't going to flinch. So this wasn't about flinching. It wasn't about a recoil from the horror of killing somebody. From the way he talked, he would have had no problem. Mm -hmm. with it at all. This was actually a much deeper emotional decision because he'd got to a place where that was no longer the answer. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you guys so much for coming. It's yeah. always great to see you in person and on screen. So, and good for you. This is an awesome part for you. Yeah, no, it's so good. So Catch it's myself great to see you in yeah. good casting. I hope you got a, a little bit of credit for that. Huh? Yeah, well, no, I'm claiming it here. You are. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>